style uh, my singing bowl healing event that I went to last night. It was very very refreshing. It's just very, very, very uh, profound. Like, It made me think of the the um, the documentary that I downloaded. Um, that's called transmutation. It just really gets you to think about some things that should be at the forefront of our minds. You know, on a constant, on a constant. You know, um, a lot of times we get distracted by you know uh, tedious little things, and we have more important things going on and that need attention so the whole night was basically getting us to pay attention to what's really important you know um a lot of what was said was basically you know like we are gods you know you know and the fact that what we think is uh what we think is is what we manifest the 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 belief systems and ways of thinking that we constantly put on replay in our minds is the very thing that we manifest in our lives and it's funny that it works you can think of the chakras like that as if it starts in the mind and it goes down to the root something that you manifest in the material world so, and it's, it's also uh, interesting that you start from the root so that you have a sturdy foundation to build upon, you know, to where you can, you know, when you do ascend, you know, you are not ascending on a, a shaky foundation. You know, you are ascending on a foundation that's supported and stable, you know. So, really got to think about what we think about, what it is that we say, you know, it's very important for us to be mindful of what it is that's going on in our heads, what it is that we're repeating to ourselves, because we, we create the jails that we, that we live in, you know, that we bring into this reality. So yeah, we have to be very mindful about what we say to ourselves and our belief systems, you know, and it's, 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 it's funny how he had brought it out to us. You know, he said, what is the, uh, <clears throat> abbreviation for belief systems, you know, BS, you know, and if we don't check our belief systems, it can lead us to a whole bunch of BS in our lives, you know, a whole bunch of bullshit in our lives, you know? So we have to really check the conditioning. We have to really check how our minds you know, operate, what is it that it's putting out into the collective, you know, um, he shared his story about how they all got started, and, um, he gave us a brief history on, on, on some devastation that happened, that happened in Nepal, and the fact that this devastation, he used this story to tell us that, no matter what happens, um, there's always a silver lining. Even if you have to dig, 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 constantly dig to get to that silver lining, there is a silver lining um, within everything that happens. Hello, my friend. Hey, how you All right. Um, and in this devastation of an earthquake uh, rocking... rocking the um this town this village of people you know uh destroying a lot of their homes you know um they were you know they felt like they were at rock bottom they had lost a lot but they turned to something that brought them that was able to bring them to elevate their spirit you know and that was <laughs> making singing bowls, you know, their fathers and their grandfathers and their fathers before them, 
you know, were singing bowl makers, you know, um, so this is in their blood, this is in their lineage, you know, uh, for them to do these things and, and knowing that when they make these things, they are helping the world, they're helping themselves, you know, so he gave us a, a rundown of, you know, this, uh, of, you know, of the story about this village being devastated by an earthquake and the guy, his name is Dr. Dream. He wanted to um, raise money, you know, to to aid those victims of the of the earthquake. And the people, the victims of the earthquake, were in such belief, disbelief that someone would help them that they wanted to, um, I guess, repay him in a way by by creating singing bowls and um that's how he got to the point to where he was able to get singing bowls or a large amount he said that the people in their devastation were able to rally up 1500 people to make 600 um singing bowls because these are actually handmade singing bowls and I'm going to I'm going to um I'm going to look at some some um videos because I purchased uh a singing bowl last night um I feel really good about that um but I purchased a a, a singing bowl last night and I really want to get into the history and you know uh the background uh of these uh instruments so you know, it. He said that they rallied up fifteen hundred people to be able to make uh, six hundred. I think six hundred plus uh, bowls for for his uh, for what it is that he was going to be doing. So, and he also. This is also like a scratch my back, I scratch yours. Um, <clears throat> when they sell singing bowls, the proceeds goes back to. The, the people who made it, you know, so, um, who made these bowls and, um, you know, to help their village and to, you know, sustain their village. <coughs> so, um, I felt really good just being a part of it. You know, he had already told us that we, the, the money that we paid to, to be able to attend the event was going to, um, go to these people in Nepal and um, I already felt good about the cause you know and about this the energy that was um, radiating throughout the building and you know from the story you know um, I felt very good to be connected with that energy and to be to have that experience um So the whole night we basically talked about the chakras, the chakras, you know, and in with with each chakra that we explored, we would um, be given a piece of chocolate. Um, we would be given a piece of chocolate, and we would also be given um, a dab of okay. of essential oil. To where we could, to where we could, uh, you know, rub it on our wrists and to smell. You know, he said he wanted to stimulate four of our senses. You know, um, which was smell, sight, hearing, and feeling and touching. Um, so. He would give a brief story. We would basically, you know, talk about the mantras that were associated with the chakras. We were we would talk about the oils that were associated with the chakras. And we were also um, associated with like taste and flavors that were associated to the heart. Well, to all the chakras. Um, and of course, uh each singing bowl is in a certain note, a note that's in tuned with the chakra. 
So we started off with C. Um, C is for the root. And you know, we go up D, E, F, G, A, B. Is it? Yeah. Um, it was so relaxing. The, the, the singing bowl experience. You know, we would sit there with uh, our eyes closed. Um, we would sit there with our eyes closed and we would, you know, uh, meditate on the mantra and and really exercise our will, our free will to receive, to be receptive to the healing that was taking place, being receptive to the transformation that was taking place. You know, we all have free will and if we want to reject something, we will reject it, you know. And if we open ourselves up to, to uh, certain things, then we will be able to receive certain things. So it gave us, I mean, the, the whole night, it was about, you know, it's about free will, you know, because um, at the end of the day, we all have to exercise our, our free will of choice. So, you know, at the beginning of, of the, um, the event, he, he told us to let go of all expectations just let go of all expectations and because when you let go of expectations you you let go of the future you are allowed to be become present you are allowed to really take in the moment you know so at the beginning of the event, you know, he told us, you know, let go, let go of the expectations that you walked in with, you know, you will, you will make this experience what it needs to be for yourself. And I mean, at the end of the day, we will, because we have to exercise free will. Um, and we all have a choice to either shut down or be receptive, you know, open up or be completely closed off. So, um, <clears throat> the sounds of the, the healing bowls you know it, he had I'll say about six other people a lot including himself um well no that doesn't make sense he had six other people with him and they were all playing the singing bowls sometimes they would play you know six or seven bowls um at a time and, um, you know, for each chakra, he would play the, the, the note associated with it. And they would walk around the room playing, playing the bowls, striking the bowls. And they would, you know, allow the bowls, they would put the bowl like right up, very close to your, your ear. Not right, right up to your ear, but they will really allow you to feel the vibrations and the resonance of of these singing bowls and when I tell you it was very powerful it really was I actually felt like I actually felt like I was being controlled by the vibrations like certain sounds would make me want to move will make my yeah make my body want to like shift or move in a certain um, way and then you know another sign another tone will come through and then like want to knock me the other way and I and I really felt you know like these shifts like I really felt the energy like pushing me, you know, and I would like kind of jerk, you know, here and it was like limiting li <laughs> my movement was limited by the energy that I felt. So and, you know, I would just really get lost in it, you know, really meditating on the mantra, just really paying attention to the sounds and how they made my body feel where I felt the energy at, you know. I was really, really fixed on that, you know, and it really made the experience just that much more deeper and intense and, and palatable and, you know, just easy for me to experience. Another thing is, at the beginning of the uh, event, we were asked 
to turn off our cell phones, put them on silent, uh, silent, uh, and to put them, um, to bring them up to the stage where they had this very large citrine, uh, crystal, um, to absorb, you know, basically to clear the energy, uh, the negative energy, because it's so much that goes on with technology and we are connected to so many things, uh, in regards to our cell phones, you know, uh, we're connected to so many things. There's so many connections being made. So there's a, uh, a lot of options to to be contaminated or, you know, to be uh, to come in contact with negative and bad energy. So it was suggested to us that we bring all of our phones up. And, you know, it was really good for me because it, it my phone didn't I my phone wasn't a distraction for me because there were a few times where I wanted to look at my phone just to see the time like how much longer do we have you know and um it really like it in that thought like when I would think about the phone I would immediately be like Ryan let's be in the moment you know I am here right now I'm enjoying this experience I don't need my phone you know I'm going to enjoy this until it ends you know and I'm going to be present. So it was really, really helpful to have the phones up there because your phones can be so distracting. But, you know, um, the chakras, we said our mantras, we listened to the, the singing of the bowls and the notes and the note that was associated to the chakra. And um, and each, you know, with each chakra, we were given a piece of chocolate and we were given an essential oil to smell. Um, it was very, very, very a healing experience. You know, All like I said, a few things that made me go well, that drew me to this uh, event was the fact that it involves healing, um, you know, healing bowls. You know, um, I remember probably like two weeks ago, I really had an experience with healing bowls. You know, that was my first time experiencing um, the intensity of the healing, you know, that I felt with, with, the, with the bowls. And... And um, that kind of sparked it for me, you know. And then I came across this event, and I was just like, you know what, I want to go to it. And um, another thing was, um, another thing that kind of sold me was the number seven. This was going to be, well, this last night was his 601st time doing uh, that type of event. You know, six plus zero plus one equals seven. I am a seven. So it's just like, and he was featuring 55 bowls. I know his next one that he's going to do um, in the in the, um, in the the county is going to be 11, 111. It's going to be double the, the bowls that he used in last night's event. So with the numbers five, five, I know five represents change, you know, um, big changes. So, you know, I, I, I went with that energy, you know, the five, the energy of the five and the energy of the seven, you know, um, and I just really felt like my higher self was calling me to go to this event. You know, it was $25. I paid for it. I think last Sunday and, um, I was very interested in going. I might go to another one to be honest with you because it was just that 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 cool man and I mean twenty five dollars it was it was you get way more than twenty five dollars <laughs> you know my money was well spent so um but yeah um it was just very 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 relaxing and you know 
he even told us a story about him meeting his his girlfriend who was um who was a part of you know um the event as well and it was just a very very sweet story and what really got me was the story of the people of Nepal and the fact that they were devastated and they didn't allow that devastation to run them into the ground they utilized that hurt and um I guess the lack to to produce you know an, an abundance you know and um I just think that's so awesome man and admirable you know most people want to want to cave you know um once once things go really bad you know but they were able to take this energy and transmute it you know they utilize they found the silver lining in the situation and turned it around for themselves you know and that is so powerful you know while I was in the event, I thought of two people came to mind who I felt like would, who would benefit from an event like that. And that's uh, Lisa from my job and Mama Rose, especially when they said that they were going to travel to Jamaica um, and that they have these practices in Jamaica, you know, um, I just thought that was, um, it just it just really made me think of those two women when I was experiencing the healing that was taking place in um uh, at last night's event. It was very nice to um it was just very nice to to be at that ex- to be in that experience. I remember when I first came in I felt a little jittery about it, but I was just like, you know what, Ryan, let that go. You know, because at the end of the day, we are gods. And if I continue to replay in my mind that I'm always going to be so socially awkward, then I'm going to be met with the universe is going to send me uh, situations to prove that. Because that's what I'm expecting anyway. You know, so it's just like you really do have to let go of expectations because you are basically setting up your future with what it is that you expect. You know? So, um, it was just really, really enlightening, man. And just really a time to really think about what's important. And that's really about us getting ourselves together, you know, getting our hearts together, getting those deep seated issues together so that we can grow, so that we can have a great foundation to grow upon, you know. That's what it's about. It just really seemed like a really, really great thing. It really did. And I I thank you, God, for being a part of it. I thank you, God, for being called to see the event and, you know, contemplate. Oh, you know what? Let me throw this out there. I I felt some type of way about buying a bowl. Because I be feeling like, you know what, Ryan? Sometimes you just be going off shit just to be going off shit. But I actually felt compelled to get me a bowl, you know? And the first things that did pop up in my head, well, the first things that I wanted to check out was the heart chakra and the root chakra. And then I ended up finding a bowl. Because at first I was going to just choose one. But then I allowed the bowl to choose me. And I ended up with this, um, I ended up with this, um, this bowl, this heart bowl. It has the hertz of 177. I need to check all that out. It had sevens in it. So I was just like, you know what? I'm going to go for you, Bobby Z, though. <laughs> it has sevens in it. And it was in the heart. It was, uh regarding the heart chakra so I was just like you know what I played it a few times you know I struck it and listened to the 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 sound and the vibration and I resonated with it so I was just like you know what you are the one I'm looking for so I got it and I mean they made it very feasible 
for us to be able to make a purchase. You know, it wasn't that we had to make a, a, a one-time payment. It was something that we could eventually pay off. And I was just like, Ryan, this right here, it, you, you're being given the tool, you know, because that's all this is, is a tool for me to use to better myself, to develop myself, to get to a, a place of awareness. You know, it's not the end all be all. You know, it is a tool. It is a tool for me to utilize, you know. Um, but I was just like, I felt like I'm, I felt like I was called here. And I'm going to continue to go with the flow of my, my feelings, you know. I even checked that where the moon was last night. It was the first, it was a quarter moon. Um, and it was also in Pisces. I was like, you know what? Because <laughs> my moon is in Pisces And I just had a feeling I just knew it was going to be in water I was like watch the watch the moon is in Pisces And I turn around I check my app And the moon is in Pisces I was like you know what Okay I, I, I hear you spirit <laughs> You know I'm going to go on to this good old event So it was just very 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 enlightening Very cool I was you know I <clears throat> I was able to see, you know, so many different people. I felt good that I was the oddball because I was the only black guy there and I was the only younger, you know, yo I was the youngest person there. So, of course, I stood out amongst the crowd because I wasn't like the rest of them. And I was just like, Ryan, this is something for you to embrace. You will always be considered or seen like this. You know, and even if you are seen like this, you don't have to allow that to make you feel like you need to shrink. This is your way for for, to, for you to shine, man. This ain't. This is not for you. This is not a time for you to shrink. Why shrink when you are different from the rest of them? Why shrink? You know. So yeah, it made me think of that, <laughs> and um, it was just a really, really great experience it really just made me think about my life you know and and the fact that I can make another choice and how I think how I behave how I conduct myself what I choose to believe in what you know systems that I'm putting in place for my life you know what lens what lenses am I looking uh, throughout? What filters am I looking throughout? You know, and knowing that I have the ability to change the lens, I have a, 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 the ability to change the filter in which I see out of. It was powerful, man. That is so powerful. So powerful. 